Hello and welcome to Nice Big Wrench. Uh, today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a TomTom -Tom Rider 400. You might want to consider this if uh, perhaps your screen's broken or if uh, you've broken some part of the casing or the battery's died. That's a common one. You might want to uh, consider um, you might want to consider taking it apart and replacing those parts. Uh, you can get the screens and batteries from eBay, uh, AliExpress, those kind of places. So this is just a, a, a video on how to do it. Um, the tools you're going to need, the main one you're going to need is a, a T6 uh, Torx driver. Um, the I found with the T6, if uh, the, the the actual size of the bolts is T5, but the T6 requires you to put a little pre bit of pressure on it to get a bite. What it means is when you go to tighten up the bolts, it's much more difficult to over tighten them and to crack the casing, which mm, it works better for me. Um, but if you want to do things properly, uh, then uh, use a T5. Um, the other thing you'll need is a little positive screwdriver of about that size ish. I mean, seriously, if you if you if you're atta attacking this kind of job, you're going to have a set of these. Um, or you should have a set of these. You might need a little flat bladed screwdriver to um, pick things out or to, uh, uh, as a spadger, um, and a little pair of tweezers to pick up the, uh, the screws. So yeah, stage one is um, you're gonna need to take off uh, these silver side pieces, uh, which actually is a, a design, uh, they're really good. They, they clamp on here and hold the, the front and the back uh, together. So, uh, they're the good first start. Obviously, I've done this already. Um, so the screws of mine come out a little easier. Yours might be a little bit more tricky, um, especially with these first four silver bolts because uh, the first four silver bolts have got uh, a bit of thread lock on. You might be able to see no, you probably can't. A little bit of blue on there. So yeah, it might be a little bit stiff for you to uh, to get rid of these. Be very careful not to lose the screws. As you can see, I'm doing this on a nice clean uh, board, a chopping board. I like using these because they're relatively soft. Um, and you can keep them clean and, and whatnot. Uh, the way to get the silver parts off, you just stick your thumbs behind it, very little pressure, and they just pop off that way. Do this one, just like that, uh, as a comedian once said. Um, so then the next uh, part is uh, these four black screws here, 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 and here. It helps to have a, a magnetized uh, tip on the um, Torx driver, obviously. It saves you fishing out the, the uh, fishing out the screws. Right, and then very simply, in order to get the two pieces apart, you just pull. There's no clips, no nothing. You just pull the, the two halves, just pull apart like that. Um, what you'll have is, if you do it from the power button on the top edge, you pull them apart like that, and you can see there's the circuit board, there's the back of the screen, and the ribbon connector on the that connects the two is on the bottom edge. Um, I'm not sure how well my camera's going to focus on this. Let's see. Yes, that'll do. Right, so this little... This little grey connector here, that's what holds the ribbon for the screen to the circuit board. What you need to do is get a little screwdriver under this black flap and ping it upwards like that. And then that frees the ribbon to come out. That's all you need to do. Don't pull it out, don't force it out. 
Um, the other thing to consider when you pull these two halves apart, as you can see the rubber ring that goes around the top half, around here, um, leave that in uh, the bottom half because it hold, there, there's a ridge and it'll hold it all in place and hold it in shape. Uh, the other thing to consider is, no, it won't focus, there's little o-rings, little rubber rings that are around these four bolts, the four black bolts that you just undid. They're essential to the waterproofing of the unit, don't lose those. What I suggest is if you pop them, make sure they're popped in into the little recesses in the back of the unit and then they never go away. Um, good. So that's the first part. That's what I'm going to do is if I pop the, uh, the seal out that goes between the screen and the back, this goes, if I try and show you, there's a little tab on it along the bottom edge and there's a little tab along the side and equally on the back uh, there's a little tab here, a little recess, and there's a little recess on the bottom edge as well. And that's how you know which way round it goes. If I just very gently place that in. Because I don't want to damage it, because then otherwise the water will get in. So right, that's the back of the unit. Front of the unit, as I say, if you want to replace the screen, um, I won't bother doing it because it's very simple to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, screws, uh, positive screws. You just unscrew those, uh, take out the old unit, put the new unit in, and uh, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Um, so let's ignore, we'll ignore, uh, we'll not bother taking that apart. Um, with the back of the unit if you want to take the battery out to replace the battery the battery is glued in on the back it's got a sticky pad basically a sticky fixer um, what you'll need to do is with this uh, little black connector let's try and move this a little closer this little black connector you just need to pop that away uh, downwards just use your finger just use your fingernail or something like that something soft um, just to pop the, the socket off and then gently you'll probably hear this as I do it the battery just comes out like that and then you can replace your battery and carry on riding I'll pop that in this little black connector here is for uh, black and red um, wires going to it that goes to the speaker not to the USB port as I originally thought but then in order to get the uh, circuit board off not entirely sure why you would want to but I'll show you anyway if you take these screws out I'd recommend you go around and just uh, loosen them all gently first. And they go back into the pot. There's one, two. like I did there's an eighth one underneath the uh, underneath that wire I 
Okay. Do the same thing as you did with this connector. Do the same for the speaker connector. Just pop a fingernail in the groove and just pop it out like that. And then the circuit board isn't uh, it isn't glued in or anything. It just simply lifts out. He says. There we go. Like that. That's your uh, micro SD card slot. That's your USB connector. Um, and that's the whole thing. This one is uh, um, a TomTom Rider 400. I think the procedure is the same for the 410. The 410 has just got software, software differences, but the hardware is exactly the same. Um, other things you might note is these two prongs here. These two gold prongs connect to the spring-loaded uh, not spring, uh, these are spring loaded. They connect to the two pins in the back, which are then the main charging ports, uh, the main charging pins on the back of the unit. So, yeah. The um, other things to consider is uh, these two connectors. Sorry for the focus. These two connectors here connect to those two contacts and then if you look closely there's a bit of tape here which is the GPS antenna that runs along the top ed top edge of the unit. I just ruined the seal. Egypt. There we go. So then yeah that's all you need uh, and then you can just put it back together again. Not really much to talk about whilst I do that. In fact, I'm going to get a slightly smaller screwdriver. Yeah, that's a much better. That's a uh, zero zero sized uh, positive screwdriver. With the reassembly, if you uh, tighten all the screws, uh, um, put all the screws in loosely, and then go around and tighten them all up afterwards. But as you're screwing into plastic, what I suggest is if you unscrew them until you hear the click of it falling into the, um, or feel the click of it falling into the thread, and then screw it in gently, and that means you won't cross thread it. If you, uh, if you're an O4 heavy ham fisted. because you wouldn't want one of these screws to come undone as your bike's vibrating down the road and come loose with, behind all this electronics. That would be bad. You would have a bad time. This unit of mine's several years old, hence why I don't mind taking it apart. Obviously, if you take yours apart, it voids the warranty. Worry about it. I dare say TomTom uh, -tom wouldn't be very happy at you doing it. And then tighten all the screws down. They don't need to be really, really tight. You can just do them finger tight. I'm just using two fingers, which is what she said. And don't forget you've got to reconnect the battery and reconnect the speaker or you can leave the speaker disconnected if you want to keep your unit silent it's up to you all right this is the fun bit um reattaching the ribbon 
is a very fiddly little job. Uh, the camera might not pick this up. I'm going to try and describe it as best I can. Um, if you, uh, you might not be able to see that looks like one, but there's two white lines. When you push that ribbon into the connector, you should only be able to see one of the white lines. That's how you know that you've pushed it in far enough. Um, so I'm going to try and do this so that you can see. That's quite tricky to do. I can please myself or the camera, but I cannot do both. There we go. Try and see that. So I'll push the connector in, and then all I need to do is that little black flap that's on the back, just pop, push that down, and that locks the ribbon in place. Okay. So at this point, you need to double check that you've got the rubber seal that goes all the way around is still set in this little recess here uh, and you've also got all four of the little blue uh, washers and then the unit just goes back together like that nice and simple and then the black connectors go in last Where is it? or go in next rather because i still got to do the silver ones Same principle applies if you unscrew it. If you unscrew that until you get the click and then you know you're at the start of the thread. And it saves you struggling to know if it's caught or not. I would power this up when I'm all finished and show you, hey, look, it's all working, but the battery's flat because the USB socket's knackered and I haven't had it on the bike. Here. So as I say, if I, if I screw this in, um, it's quite hard to, because the screwdriver is technically one size too big, it's quite difficult to over tighten them without the head first popping out of the screw. So it's a nice little safety tip that stops me from over tightening the unit, uh, over tightening the screw and stripping the thread. There we go. Um, as I was talking about earlier the, with the avoiding warranty, there's these two pins here, uh, interestingly spring-loaded little uh, contacts. I think they're an anti-intrusion um, measure so that the circuitry knows when these units have been removed. So I would guess that if your unit went off to TomTom Tom and you said, hey, it's broken, I want it fixed on warranty, they're able to say, oh, well, you've already tried taking it apart and you've voided your warranty. So that might be, I've, I know of other electronic manufacturers who've done that before. So yeah, very simply pop the uh, side panels back on. Actually, while I'm here, the little rubber cover for the USB port has a screw underneath it there. Um, that only holds on that rubber cover. It doesn't attach to the inside of the um, uh, the inside of the circuit board or the the case or, or in any way. So you can leave that be. Let me just put the last four bolts on.
And that is how you take apart and put back together a TomTom Tom 400 series sat-nav. Or the TomTom Tom Rider 400. Um, last stage is putting my SD card back in. He says. We've got that upside down. Yeah, I have. There you go. As I say, the battery's probably dead, so this won't power up. Oh no, it does. There you go. I took it apart and I put it back together again, and it still works. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's uh, of use to one of you. Maybe your unit's dirty. Maybe you want to check that there's no dust in it. Maybe the charging doesn't work anymore, and you want to clean the contact. Um, maybe that'll be of use to you. Um, so yeah, catch you next time.